Hi everyone, and welcome to my first Idol Hunters video. Um, I'm going to be doing maybe a couple of videos, especially rolling videos on these banners because I have money now and I can afford to whale, so to say. Right. So uh, real quick before I start this, uh, start the video, I'm doing a uh, dub over recording because this is a recording from my phone that I had to take uh, while I was uh, out of town. And so um, sadly, the video has to be at 720p because uh, iPhone to uh, 1080 doesn't uh, really work unless it's like a video video. But a screen capture, uh, this is the best we got. So I'm I'm working with it. Right. So sadly, uh, the, uh, as soon as the her banner did come out. So this is uh, Takanaka. Um, she is a great, great wind unit, very essential for, uh, when starting teams because she provides a very solid shield to all adjacent allies based on her attack. So fantastic, a must if you can afford it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, what I'm doing is I have it all nice and edited on, uh, Sony Vegas and I'm going to be, uh, playing it here while as we go through it but yes so sadly as soon as the banner did come out i rolled just 10 just to see what i would get i didn't get anything just uh purples uh i mean i didn't get any ssrs because i think that's the thing that matters right so i didn't get any of those sadly i can't go back i can't confirm that but you'll take my word for it uh that statement is for those who are watching this for statistical analysis on banner drops right so yeah so we'll begin Okay, so I just start rolling. Uh, there's gonna be a couple cuts here and there, and that's going to be because I am recharging my tickets. <laughs> uh, I had to get uh, more tickets to roll. And thankfully on uh, our first, uh, on the 20th roll, which is usually when you get the cha the banner character, um, we got her, we got our first Take. So that's great. And as you can see over on the right, um, is the pity system. And so in, uh, in this game in idle hunters, when you hit, uh, 80 rolls for most characters, except like dark units, uh, on these banner characters, they will give you a free, uh, card of, of that character. And so, yeah, sadly it doesn't reset. Uh, once you hit the 80, you get one free card. That's it. Uh, now, uh, there is a harder pity that I think we get, yep, just uh, extra SSRs. Uh, there's harder pity so that every 200th uh, roll you get an extra card. So in totality, that's four free versions of her. So you technically only need to get uh, 12 rolls out of the banner. And uh, so if you're following along, you need 16 versions of her to max her out and in this games uh in this game specifically um six star is the most uh is the best character you can have um this allows an additional stars allow you to level up the character further and give them stronger uh, abilities right okay so sorry if you see any cuts it's either because i got a notification on my phone or sony vegas crashed and I have to uh, reboot it. So yeah, uh, you will be witnessing uh, many, many rolls. Uh, I won't spoil it for the people just watching for fun, uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah. So right now we're around 150 rolls and up on the top rolls, it's just the, uh, every roll is one extra character that we're rolling and we're rolling tens. So. That's why it's going up by 10, if you didn't uh, catch it by now. And then, so SSRs are these golden units that we keep seeing uh, popping up. That's what we want. Um, but specifically, we want Takes, which is the uh, white-haired uh, girl right here. This is the banner character we are going for, right? And so, as I was saying before, we want 16 of them because uh, the stars help them upgrade. And uh, we want to max them out, right? Otherwise, we'd have to wait uh, uh, however long until they rerun the banner, right? And so, as you're seeing there, every time I hit reward, that I'm just taking a look at the hard pity system that refreshes every uh, refreshes three times, so you can only get the 200th free copy um, uh, three times. However, uh, the community we've found ish that there is a hard um, cap. 
that they're forcing players to get to at least roll up to 600 rolls in order to even like max out the character which is a, a shame um that there's uh, it's a give and take right it's great that um there is a limit there is a goal to which you can complete the character without having to worry about it uh without just endlessly throwing money and just being that unlucky however they have taken the opportunity away to being genuinely lucky and getting her in under 600 rolls which is what the community is trying to see is possible um Sadly, I don't get that uh, on this go, but maybe we see it in the future. Um, so yeah, we roll many, many times, but um, yeah. So in the description below will be a recap of the uh, the hits at which we get um, the Take like stars. Uh, there'll be different ranges just for the people who are curious how how many what's what's the amount of rolls I might need to go for to get talking to a certain uh, star right uh, because some people might be trying to play uh, with their wallet in mind because this game is completely play to win you can attempt to free to play but boy 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 you will be waiting a long time um, for things to cycle back depending on how long the devs want to uh, you roll a banner right and by that time you've already fallen behind everybody who's throwing money every time a, a character comes in um, so yeah, this is not for the, um, if you like the girls, cool. I mean, like they're great and all, but, uh, definitely, um, you will not get far if you aren't willing to pay, sadly. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, but yep, real quick, this is just a, a quick breather of me every, before I reload my, uh, the tickets, uh, which are like the, the, the currency to roll without having to use the cur uh, the crystals which are a little tougher to get uh which are a bit more expensive to get in the game so yeah so now we are at 210 rolls and there we go we got our sixth take and with a total of 13 ssrs so to make note uh the ssr counter will count every time we get a gold card as well as a take however the take counter will go up obviously whenever we roll a take but uh, as well as counting the freebies we get from the pity systems so just keep that in uh in mind yep we will just keep rolling and rolling and rolling um just to one document this for people who want to take note at uh, specific rates of certain characters uh, but also just to uh to document the experience right so on the right there you can uh a feature about all ssr characters within the game is that at at uh different star values at different star ranks they unlock a different cg uh or picture so to say and the further you go the more loot they get um uh, but yeah, so the first one is always unlocked when you unlock the character. The second version is unlocked at three stars. Um, and the last one is the third one is unlocked at six stars. Now, some characters uh, do have extra pictures available for them. Um, but they put like a $20 like price tag on them. You don't get anything extra. You just get the picture. So, I mean, <laughs> which you could just look up. You don't have to pay for um but uh considering how much people might spend just to get two extra pictures you know 20 bucks doesn't seem too bad uh so yeah thankfully the pitta system does give you a uh, a lot of currency needed to upgrade your character that you just wailed on but sometimes like that orange crystal on the top they don't give you a whole lot and so you need to like hoard a good amount um before you whale on a character unless you just sit on it for a while which is no fun because you want to use the character you just bought <laughs> um for quite a bit so yep every time there's a cut it's me it's just me getting more tickets like we just saw here um i just reloaded and we will keep rolling and then i'm checking uh what is my pity looking like because the pity system will give you free tickets around 30 because you get 10 at one point you get another 20 at a later point uh but yeah so we just keep going keep going every time we see a purple we are sad 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 but every time we see a gold oh there we go what do we get i think this is a not it's helen great 
Um, so yeah, a little bit about Take is that yes, she provides a shield to all adjacent allies. So you're gonna want to use like the 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 what's it called? Just your north southwest um, build. I might show it later on. I think. Um, real quick, sorry, this was just a normal banner. We did get an SSR on the normal banner uh, because that was my wish list, but do not, I did not count that in any of the counters above. So don't make note of that. That was a normal banner, but that was the only normal banner I did just to pace myself because um, I was getting kind of mad getting on the, uh, the purples. Uh, so where was I? Uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Yep, just keep rolling away. Just keep rolling away. Yeah, so, uh, talk it, right? You, so there are different formations offered in the game. Uh, you can only bring five huntresses at a time per, for like your comp, but there are, it's a, it's a three by three board. So there are nine slots, but you're only given, um, I think six or seven different, um, variations of how you can orient your team comp uh so there is one where it's just a normal um uh like not an x but a cross and so which is perfect for take because you just put her in the center and then she can shield herself as well as the other four allies right next to her uh and the bigger the shield is is derived from her attack so the higher attack is the more uh, beefier her shield is and then when you uh at three stars on ssr characters they unlock like a special their special equipment or otherwise known as ee um and at level 30 they unlock like the chance or a special ability on top of their other abilities that either complement or like just completely make them broken and in this case um i might show it later on in this case, Take then takes, I think at EE30, she takes either, I think it's 5% or 8% of all uh, ally shields and then adds that to her attack, which then, uh, funny enough, when her attack increases, her shield increases. So it's a, a good way to set up a positive feedback loop with her shielding, like an additional turns, except it will cap out at um 500 attack so given how big the shield is and how beefy you make your attack and you play it by ear right um so yep we're at 11 we're almost there we're at 420 so money has been absolutely demolished um we're at 22 ssrs we need uh five more takes but i think we only need uh four there we go we got dante so i take a screenshot here you just hear me click it because that is a first large dark unit um that we got from this banner so out of so far 440 rolls we got one um which is about right because the light dark units do have very low drop rates uh sadly so they are stronger characters but obviously harder to max out so we only need four more but technically only three more because we will get the last pity card of her at the very end so uh yep and then another cut because i'm gonna have to refresh but i think we upgrade her yep we use some crystals uh sadly it's another purple yeah and then we cash in our pity rewards great 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 they do give quite a bit but i i wish they're they could give more because especially ee e. stones they're they're very very they're very expensive on the different like uh, shops in the game, and they are very essential to upgrade the unit to where you need them to be. Uh, but I don't, I don't. They they could they could be more generous for how much people throw to even get the unit to where they need to be to to do what they to even unlock the ability, right? So, cashing in those rewards. I think we go back. We upgrade her. We need one more, uh, but I don't have it. Uh, do I use crystals? I do. I think I get it on this one. No. Yikes. Uh, one more. No. Oh, yikes. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, I just <laughs> rolling away my money. Oh, it burns. It burns. Oh, dang. I go low. Okay, cool. So I, I think this is it. I uh, had yeah, two of them, so definitely... Uh, and we are at Taki 13. 
uh, we need 60 more to get the last pity um, and uh, cash that in. I upgrade her to five stars. Yeah, to the her fifth star version. Uh, and then I level her up. Sadly, I'm waiting on... Um, I don't kit her out at the end of the video. I've kitted her out now. Uh, but uh, sadly, I did not have speed a speed badge red badges to give her but i did because the of the pity you get three um red chests and i put uh that equipment on her so yep so real quick we're back uh i've gotten one more pack that should finish us off uh so cool because we only need to go to around 600 rolls that's how much it sadly takes um for a uh, un unquoted hard like pity um but yeah big problem big problem is that people are trying to get uh we're trying to see if we can get uh within the community people who have the money to do this see if we can get a six star character in under 600 rolls uh so far it doesn't seem like it's been possible people get it on the 600th but never before um and no one's if they say they really don't have proof of it so um yep and so we got the 600th and then we get the pitied version and we just need to get one more of her so just cashing my rewards for my guild my awesome guild and we do one more one more so we are at 610 it took me 610 rolls to get um a, a max take right so you just saw 600 of them so that should be plenty of data points to document with evidence um and if need be i can send the raw footage to who needs it right but there we go we unlocked the last image and for people who don't know the game uh the na version is censored but even the japanese version is still there's no nudity so nothing nothing to worry about uh yeah yep so we're just kidding her out with as much as material i have uh the white stone on top is the basic enhanced stone uh and then as soon as you hit level 20 it turns you need the red stone and i think we get to 24 here yeah 24 and then all right sorry about that um vegas crashed uh, but luckily uh, it did so that I could uh, I could pause it. <laughs> so because the, the, the B footage is almost over and I'm just going to do a recap. But yeah, so that was 610 total rolls to get her six starred, uh, but 600 documented. So for those who are doing the statistical uh, recording, hope this helped um, prove the rigged rates uh, because there is, once again, to reiterate, uh, people, uh, we found that no one gets a full six star in under 600, uh, at least not recorded and proved. So there is a hard wall that you can roll to and get what you want. Luckily, we that is achievable. And so you're not just throwing money at the wall at an endless pit and not still not getting it. But uh, they have taken away the opportunity to just be lucky uh, and getting it in under 600 rolls. Uh, so it's a give and take right give and take uh but yeah so i'll do future i'll do a future one of these because another character is coming out chiyome is coming out so i'll do another one uh hopefully i get my paycheck <laughs> uh and then uh yeah i might do some footage of just general gameplay i'm not super super this was the first character I actually wailed on so uh i don't have the best stuff but i do have some good stuff so i can do some general gameplay in the future but yeah Hope y'all enjoy, and I'll let the rest of this footage uh, play out. So yeah, hope you liked the video, and I will see y'all next time. Take care.